G'day folks, and welcome to episode 5 of the Find the Critter series, where today we do paddle with the diverse group of animals known as commensal. We'll start with a definition. Commensalism is the middle ground of the three types of symbiotic relationships we find in nature. Symbiosis is any living arrangements between members of two different species. They may be all-round positive, which we call mutualism, the anemone fish and anemone being the most well-known, where both species benefit and rely on each other for their survival. At the other end of the spectrum, we have parasitism, where one species benefits at the expense of the other, like these isopods feeding on the fish they live on. In between we have commensalism, where the host is generally unaffected and the commensal critter mostly just has a home. Most have evolved to look just like their host, which is where our challenge lies. The trick to finding commensal critters is knowing what animals typically host commensals. So let's start there, with the biggest host group, the Cnidarians, which includes all of the corals, sea pens, and anemones. Some species host anemone fish, as we know, but these colonies also host porcelain crabs. Anemones are also a great place to find species of commensal shrimps. Some coral species, like this bubble coral, also host shrimps. In this case, they are cleaners, and the easiest way to find them is to find fish hovering just above the coral. These become cleaning stations where the fish are inviting the almost transparent shrimps to remove dead skin and parasites. Another common host of brilliantly camouflaged commensals are the crinoids or feather stars. These are animals related to starfish and host fish called clingfish and crustaceans including squat lobsters and shrimps. Other relatives of the starfish are the sea cucumbers and urchins, and both are also excellent places to look for commensals. My third favourite host group are the sponges. Most species will have tiny gobies, but these barrel sponges are the king of hosts. On a large one, which could be hundreds of years old, you can find heaps of stuff like porcelain crabs, gobies, brittle stars, and the coolest of all squat lobsters, this hairy beast. Notice all the tiny squat lobsters and shrimps running around in the background there. Now you know what you're looking for, we'll get into the challenge. Each level will begin with 10 seconds to spot them as you might come across them on a dive, followed by closer and more obvious shots. So good luck with the challenge and happy critter spotting.
If you enjoyed or learned from this video, please like, share and subscribe. And tell me in the comments what marine critters you'd like help to find. I'm Josh from Undersea Productions, thanks for watching.